dogs and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joy and guys, can you believe it? The Secret Service has once again admitted they lied without actually admitting anything and apparently they denied Trump to get help from the Secret Service. They denied him protection and it's all coming out. I don't really know what to say. I keep being shocked and surprised and not shocked and surprised because they just keep saying things and then turn around and say the exact opposite, which really is indicative of lying. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what's going on because this is infuriating and this leads more and more for me and others to believe this was staged and this was planned by the FBI on some level. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. And guys, if you like content like this, make sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, guys, as I'm going through this, sound off in the comments. Tell me if I'm missing any information, what you see and what you hear, because at this point, I feel like it's a collaborative effort with all of us. When I'm telling you sound off in the comments, you guys will pick up on stuff I don't simply because there's been so much lying. It is really hard to distinguish what all has been said with what's coming out. It's overwhelming for me. Also, guys, make sure and like the video. Everything helps. So I want to go ahead and go over this with you guys. This is from, so this is from Al Jazeera, guys. And it says, U.S. Secret Service says rejected Trump requests for more sources, reports. You know, the exact opposite they and Kim Cheadle, the director, had said before. Secret Service says the denied requests were not specifically for the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where the attack took place. It's this, this statement right here. This is the same as when your abusive boyfriend punches you in the face and you say, oh my God, you just punched me in the face. Why did you punch me in the face? And he said, but did I punch you in the face last week? It's the same logic. And, and I, this is the thing I really want to get across to everybody. Your government is the abusive boyfriend that you keep going back to. The one that keeps lying, gaslighting, manipulating, stealing your money, taking money from your account, cheating on you, and beating the crap out of you, and then convincing you it didn't happen, and you're a conspiracy theorist if you think that black eye is something they gave you. This is why, I'm just going to vent for a second, I get so frustrated right now at the left, and it's not about what politics you lean, it's that they are lying to you. They are lying to you, regardless of what your politics are. On, when I did my stimulus channel, when this was all about stimulus, I showed both sides on where they are lying. And I just want people to wake up to realize they're abusing you and lying to you, no matter what you think about them. So let's go ahead and, and dispel some lies. The United States Secret Service has admitted it had turned down a request for additional resources to protect former President Donald Trump before his attempted assassination last week, according to a report carried by the New York Times. Secret Service spokesman Anthony G, I don't know how to pronounce it, so it's going to be Anthony G, acknowledged in a statement to the Daily that some requests for additional federal security assets for Trump's detail were turned down in the two years leading up to the attempt on July 13th. So guys, Trump's team had said we had multiple requests over the years for additional Secret Service because we saw the writing on the wall. On top of that, Trump's getting all the fun DEI hires that don't know what they're doing and can't actually protect him, and that he was denied multiple times. Secret Service came out several times and said, that's not true, that's false, that never happened, that never happened, that never happened. They, it's like, it seems like what they're doing is immediately deny everything and then trickle in the truth, hoping we're not gonna see it, spot it, and be upset. That over time, if they just kind of trickle it in here and there, somehow it'll be swept under the rug and it will be okay. This just makes me so mad. He said the denied requests were not specifically for the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Oh, well then that just makes it okay. I mean, what, what's the logic here? So Trump and his team knew this was going to happen and they asked specifically and they were like, no, for Butler specifically, it's not gonna happen. It's, guys, the way they're communicating, this is abusive to us. It's abusive. 
and we need to be calling out for what it is. It's not just lying. It's not just manipulation. I mean, and gaslighting. It's all of those things. This is abuse. They are trying to turn our brains into mush. They are trying to make us not believe in our own senses and faculties. It doesn't matter that it wasn't for the one in Butler. The one in Butler is the one where you guys got caught. But it doesn't make it any better. You denied him so that he couldn't have it in Butler or any other place. This is, again, I just want to show you the manipulative PR spins on this. This makes me so mad. He said the denied requests were not specifically for the rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where the 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks opened fire on the Republican presidential candidate, clipping his ear and killing a person in the crowd behind him. The Washington Post also quoted four unnamed informed sources as saying on Saturday that previous requests by the Trump security detail from Secret Service were repeatedly denied. Repeatedly. Well, not necessarily for Butler. I'm not trying to exaggerate with, well, no, I am trying to exaggerate with the voice. I'm, I want to say I'm not trying to be dramatic and I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm trying to make sure the points come across because people's lives were ended. If, if people getting killed is not the most dramatic thing that can happen, like, I, I don't know what is. We need to understand how bad this is. Anthony G. had initially denied accusations, including from some Republicans, that it had rejected any quest for more resources. Translation, Anthony G. initially lied and lied and lied. Or another translation, Anthony G. has been hired to lie and lie and lie, even if he's not aware of it. Anthony G. has been hired to give lies from the people at the top. He is hired as a puppet to disseminate lies to us, to give out lies to us. And apparently he sleeps well at night and he's perfectly fine with doing that. You know, it's so funny. The left likes to call everybody Nazis while now they seem to be against the Jewish state or Jews, which I think is hysterical that they've used that term so long and now it's come full circle. But apparently this is okay. This type of behavior is okay. And they don't, they don't see the link. I want to say it again. They quoted from unnamed and four sources saying Saturday previously request had been denied and Anthony G has denied accusations that he rejected more requests. I don't understand how they don't see right in front of their face that th this guy is part of Nazi Germany because, and let me explain why, a lot of the Nazis once everything happened and went down and they were getting tried, said we were just doing our jobs. We're just doing our jobs. We're just lying to make money. We're just abusing people to make money. This is what Anthony G is doing. Now I'm just furious personally at Anthony G. Anthony G is probably his mentality so he can sleep at night. I'm just doing my job. I'm just getting paid to abuse people. So let's then break it down even further. The government makes my life comfortable so that I can continue to abuse people and I can continue to be comfortable while I abuse other people and make sure that they don't have what they need and they're not comfortable. The government allows me to be comfortable while I continue to put people in slavery. Therefore, that's the justification that I need. My children are comfortable and your children can suffer. And that makes it okay. How do they not see that what they're doing is Nazi Germany? In a statement to the New York Times on Saturday, he emphasized that the Secret Service works in a dynamic threat environment and has to adapt. The ones that can't find their holsters, the ones that aren't tall enough to protect him, the ones that hide behind him, that's a dynamic threat environment where they adapt. The ones where we can't get on the sloped roof, although we're everywhere else on the sloped roof. The ones where you guys completely ignore the fact that several people said there are multiple shooters. Yeah, you're real good at adapting, aren't you? And this is what they're saying. What they're saying is we denied requests because we believe that our agents are good enough at what they do 
that they will adapt when something bad happens. We didn't, so understand, and this is what I want you guys to start doing if you feel so inclined. This is a great skill. Don't look at buzzwords. Don't look at buzz phrases. Don't look at what they say. Get to the root meaning of what is being said and what is going on. He emphasized, Anthony G emphasized, the Secret Service works in a dynamic threat environment and has to adapt. Translation, there are all types of threats. Our Secret Service as it is, is enough, therefore we denied the requests. From what we saw in Butler, Pennsylvania, is that enough? Did they have a dynamic threat environment they adapted to adequately? These are little buzzwords and buzz phrases to justify what they're doing and make you feel comfortable with their decisions. Because guys, they're smarter than us. They're smarter than us and we just need to sit down, shut up and accept anything they tell us when it's packaged correctly. When it's packaged in a way that they think psychologically will make us feel a little bit more comfortable. Because again, what's the name of the game? Comfort. And guys, the root of all evil. It's not money. People like to say it's money. It's comfort. It's getting too comfortable. And what's happening is all of these people are selling their souls so they and their families can be comfortable. The problem is it doesn't actually create real comfort. Real comfort would come from peace, peace in yourself and peace in your soul. So either you have to be a horrific sociopath, you have to have all types of mental health and behavioral health issues to justify being okay with this, or you have to be just the most selfish person that's existed which, I mean, we can say that goes hand in hand with the behavioral and mental health issues. Only their comfort matters. In some instances, where specific Secret Service specialized units or resources were not provided, the agency made modifications to ensure the, secret, the security of the protectee, he said. They think we're stupid. This may include utilizing state or local partners to provide specialized functions or otherwise identifying alternatives to reduce public exposure of a protectee. Oh, this is a good one. Let's break this down. I love this. In some instances where specific Secret Service specialized units or resources were not provided. So during the times when we said no, there were certain times, is what they're saying, the agency made modifications to ensure the security of the protectee. We changed things around to make sure that the person we're protecting was protected. So again, when we denied requests for Trump, we made sure that we made changes so he was protected. Is that what happened, guys? Is that what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania for the rally? No. So we're being lied to. Or let's say this, okay, you guys made specific changes. When you denied his request, you went ahead and just made changes to protect him and you failed. So basically what you're saying is we failed, we failed, but they're packaging it in a way to make you comfortable with their failure. And they won't actually admit and say we failed. They won't do that. The alphabet agencies can't take responsibility. So then it says, this may include utilizing state or local partners to provide specialized functions or otherwise identifying alternatives to reduce public exposure of a protectee. Let's break it down. This may include meanings could have happened, could have not happened. Meaning nothing. This may include. That means, hey, everything I'm saying, I can't necessarily verify or guarantee that it happened. Hypothetically, we could do this, which means they didn't. This may, the, the may, the may gets me, guys. This may include utilizing, utilizing state or local partners. This may include. It, we could have used them. And translation, we didn't. Now, we know the cops have been coming out calling out their BS because they'll say, oh, well, this building, cops were supposed to be on. Cops were like, nope. And we told you ahead of time we didn't have the security to do that. We told you ahead of time. And at this point, I'm inclined to believe the police. The police seem like they actually did way more to help the situation than the Secret Service. It sounds like what happened is the Secret Service went to the police and said, we're going to have you do this. And the police said, we can't. Secret Service shrugged it off. But Secret Service said, look, we're the ones in charge you come to us with everything and we tell you what to do and the police actually did within reason we could argue 
did their job and let them know and Secret Service did nothing. So once again, we're putting it on police. Will we use the police? No, no, Secret Service, you should not be using the police to do your job. You should be doing your job. And the fact is that you couldn't do your job because there wasn't enough of you to do the job you were supposed to do. And yet some of you were sitting in the stands filming things you probably shouldn't have been filming, weren't you? I know it might sound like I'm harping on these little details. The details matter, and I want you guys to understand that. These are snakes with silver forked tongues. Understand their language. If we can dissect the language, we can see what's really going on. This may include utilizing state or local partners to provide specialized functions or otherwise identifying alternatives to reduce public exposure of a protectee. I love this. To reduce public exposure of a protectee. Two things in that statement. Number one, it says, well, we want to make sure that we are limiting the threat of this guy being in public. And I also think this says that to reduce public exposure, we don't want the public to see what's going on. We're reducing your ability to actually see what's going on. See, guys, also when you look through the heart of what's going on, they give away their motives. They give away what they're doing. I love the phrase that says when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. And that's what we're seeing. Anthony G said the federal agency is limited in the amount of resources it can dispatch to events. Translation, we don't do our job. We don't have the capacity to do our job. We are not going to do our job. Because interesting, it seems like you don't have limited resources for Biden. When have we ever heard that Secret Service is just limited with what they can do? When in the history have we ever heard that? But suddenly you don't have enough money for Trump? Suddenly there are no resources for Trump? Maybe, here's a thought, instead of giving illegal immigrants seven grand a month to live off of when they come over here illegally and they may be trafficking substances or people or children, maybe that money should go to the American people and protecting our former presidents. No? Okay. Let us all starve? Okay. This makes me so mad. The comments come as Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle, our favorite, who has come under heavy criticism in the aftermath of the attempted assassination is due to face a hearing with the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability on Monday. Oh, I'm going to be all over this, guys. The Secret Service has so far refused to hold news conferences or any public briefings like other law enforcement authorities, fueling the barrage of criticism. In fact, she did go, she was subpoenaed to go to a hearing on Wednesday where they were supposed to ask questions. It lasted 10 minutes. They only took questions. I think it was all Democrats and one Republican. And then she was whisked off and they ended everything early and said she will not be taking further questions. She's above the law. She's above all of this, guys. These agencies are not held accountable and especially under Biden will not be. The fact that Biden did not fire her, no one, not just her guys, no one has been let go and fired from this situation. Let that sink in. The Secret Service has so far refused to hold news conferences or any public briefings, refused. And they had to subpoena Kimberly because when they told her she needed to be there, Kimberly's office said she may be, she may not be. Depends on her mood. Depends on her mood. Videos circulating on social media earlier this week showed a group of senators chasing the federal agency's director through the Republican National Convention venue in Milwaukee, saying she was not answering questions about the shooting. We'll play that in just a second. On Saturday, Trump said nobody forewarned him of a problem in the lead up of Pennsylvania rally last week. Nobody mentioned it. Nobody said there was a problem. I would have waited for 15. They could have said, let's wait for 15, 20 minutes, five minutes, something. Nobody said, Trump told Fox News in an interview. Remember guys, they also had the threats coming in and they knew that Iran was after him. Nothing. Apparently, this kid had three hours at this event. Came in with his drone scouting the area. Remember, he came in with what was supposed to be a five foot ladder, but obviously was more at least a 10 or maybe 12 foot ladder because he had to scale that building. Those people are only five feet tall in the building, running around with this ladder, the drone, the, the thing on the rifle, the finder, nothing, nothing. 
I think that it was a mistake, he added. How did somebody get on that roof and why wasn't he reported? Trump, we all want to know the answers to these questions. Several Republicans have called on Cheadle to resign. The Secret Service has said she has no intention to resign. Because guys, the Secret Service, including her, did nothing wrong. A government appointed watchdog has opened an investigation. The organization's handing on the situation. Oh, well, goody, and I hope somebody writes a strongly worded letter. Because that always seems to help, doesn't it? The Secret Service is facing questions as to the way it assigned local law enforcement officers in the lead up to the assassination attempt and how the attacker was able to freely roam the outside perimeter and climb the roof of the building with snipers stationed inside despite attempts by civilians to warn. I'll tell you exactly how the Secret Service has blamed it all on the police. But the police have come back and said, we did what you guys instructed us to do. We told you ahead of time the things we couldn't do. We have receipts and by the way, even this is a lie. There were no police. There were no secret service in the building he was on top of. First, they said we couldn't have snipers or anybody there because of sloped roof. Nobody was manning it. Then they said the police were supposed to be manning it. Then they said, oh, no, no, we had secret service and snipers inside the building. Then, no, we didn't have anybody inside the building and buildings adjacent. Then it was the police's fault. That's what we've been hearing. I just want to dissect all that for you so you can get that out of the way. So, Because, again, it's maddening to keep up with the amount of lies that are coming out. The New York Times quoted an unnamed Trump campaign official as saying an insufficient number of metal detectors to screen attendees at events has been a consistent concern. Oh, we've had consistent security concerns but nobody did anything about it because when it comes to Trump, we don't have any money. There's no money to do anything about any of this, guys. No money. The official said a request by the Trump team for specially trained dogs to, this is making me mad, to search the area during an outdoor rally earlier this month was denied as well. But they didn't deny requests in Butler specifically. I'm getting so hyped because I'm just getting so mad at the amount of lies. They just keep manipulating everybody. This is just constant manipulation. According to an unnamed source, requests were often denied in phone calls from service officials and not formally rejected in writing, you know, so we can cover our tracks. Again, more manipulation. But we have to listen to what is said. Listen to what is said. When things don't add up, notate it, save it. We're now at a point where there's so many lies. I, I want to dive and dig more into these stories, but with all my chronic health issues and the fact that it can affect me cognitively, it is like impossible for me and everybody else to keep up with the amount of lies versus the information and the trickles that are coming out. It's maddening. And that's why I want to have channels like mine and others to stay on this. And I want you guys to see this is the most that Kimberly Cheadle the head of Secret Service has actually had to have accountability look. This is exactly what we were doing today this on the was call. An Stonewalling. You owe the people answers. You owe President Trump. You owe the people answers. Answer. Answer. You owe you President all these situations were already identified an hour before, and you let him go on stage without the knowledge of him, the team on the ground, and you were within less than an inch of his life. So, resignation for full explanation to us right now. No, 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 we're going with you. We're going with you. Mm -hmm. They're literally running, running from responsibility, running from any accountability, running from anything. A man's gone. A man was killed. Two little girls no longer have their dad. And you can, and you know, and the worst part is when you look at the faces, Nothing. There's no emotion. You have to be. She was hired to be a sociopath. Biden was like, you have no experience. You don't know what you're doing in this. You just came from Pepsi, which you were a part of poisoning the nation. But we're going to hire you to lie for us.
This is evil. This is evil. This woman is evil. Last thing I want to show you. Democratic Republicans, or sorry, Democratic rep, calls for Secret Service Director to resign after Trump rally shooting. Representative Brendan Boyle from Pennsylvania has called on U.S. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle to resign in the wake of the assassination attempt against former President Trump, making him the first congressional Democrat to do so. The Democrats, not anybody else, has spoken up and said she should resign. How many Democrats have spoken up and said, Biden, you need to step down, but none of them care that Trump's life was almost ended? I am calling on Director Cheadle to resign immediately following last weekend's shooting of a presidential candidate in Western Pennsylvania, Boyle said in a statement posted on Twitter. The evidence coming to light has shown unacceptable operational failures. I have no confidence in the leadership of the United States Secret Service that Director Cheadle chooses to remain in her position. Nice, but again, strongly worded letter. She needs to be held accountable. These people need to be in prison. They need to be in prison. And not just for what happened. It's one thing to make mistakes or it's one thing to say, look, we're just not giving enough resources. They've been lying and lying and lying and lying and lying. And I'm just at the point, I'm sick of it and I'm done with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think of my assessment? What do you think of this coming out now that, that they lied and they're continuing to lie? And that Trump, they begged for help and they said no. On top of that, we know this year with the January 6th panel, they tried to say, if you are a former felon, we don't, you don't get secret service at all. Interesting timing. What do you guys think about all this? What do you think about my assessment? Tell me your thoughts in the comments, guys. If you like content like this and want to be kept up to date with everything going on, make sure and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, give me a like because that just helps my channel. And if you want, share this content so we can get to more people. All right, guys, I am fired up and I need to go take a break. Until the next video, guys, I'm giving y'all hugs, kisses. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for having my back, and I have yours. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Just going to keep disseminating BS. All right, take care, guys. Love you.